Hi, my loves. Welcome to your Cosmic Weather Report for the week ahead. We have a really beautiful week this week for beginning to establish new beliefs based on a real sense of inner knowing and truth and trust that's going to now help you to begin to see a new direction forwards. So this begins on Monday when Mercury moves into Virgo. Now, Mercury's already been here before between the 25th of July and the 5th of August. And then as Mercury's retrograde, Mercury moved back out of Virgo, back into Leo, and has now taken the journey back again. So as Mercury comes back into Virgo again, we're going to now be able to gain a deeper understanding of that retrograde period and what that retrograde period was bringing up for us, was showing us, was asking us to really reevaluate and review and look at anything from the past that stirred, any old emotions and hurts that stirred, or just any big lessons we had through that retrograde because I know many of you found that retrograde a really kind of sticky period. But now we're going to gain a deeper understanding of what all that was for and what all of that was showing us so that we can now begin to integrate that information to begin to establish a new sense of self and new beliefs. Now, Mercury in Virgo, Virgo as always has that little reputation of being like the picky perfectionist. And so initially, as Mercury moves into Virgo, we can sometimes find again that little inner critic gets a little bit louder. That little voice of doubt gets a little bit louder. That little imposter syndrome gets a little bit louder. But again, this all comes up to show us what is in there, those little voices and stories that will always hold us back until we bring them to the light and look them in the eyes and say, okay, is this true? Which is one thing I really want you to ask yourself through this time of Mercury being in Virgo. Because what this is going to give us a really beautiful opportunity to do is, is to become selective about our thoughts. Because you are not your mind, you are not your thoughts. You can simply become the observer of those thoughts. And we can begin to then choose whether to dwell in the drama and the doubts and the worries and allow them to go and repeat over and over and over and over. Or we can begin to challenge those thoughts. Is that true? And from there, begin to find a better feeling thought, a better feeling belief, so that again, rather than look at what could go wrong, we can go, okay, what could go right? How could this work? And this is going to help us to really then begin to establish new thought patterns. Now, Virgo is also the sign of the witch, the healer, the earth goddess. So this is going to give us a real opportunity to begin to tap into our deeper intuition. So again, to make that choice between trying to lift from our minds all beginning to go a little bit deeper into that deeper wisdom and knowing. And rather than then always leaping back up into our minds and doubting it, because we've been very much taught to live by our intellect rather than our intuition. And there are times that that serves us and there are times it really doesn't when we try to intellectualize everything, especially those deep intuitive knowings, because very often intuition doesn't make the most sense at the time and I've learned over the years that the less sense it makes the more I know to listen and to do it so this is going to give us again that choice point between just really feeling into and trusting and following those deep intuitive nudges and not then allowing ourselves to go there in the mind and instead really sinking into that deep inner sense of self now, this is going to then be amplified even more on Wednesday when we get the first quarter moon in Sagittarius. So the first quarter moon is that part of the lunar cycle where everything starts to come together, signs, synchronicities. We're beginning to follow where we're being called to go. We're letting that growing light of the moon begin to really guide us. This is the time to say yes to things, to put yourself out there, to be seen, to shine. And with the moon in Sagittarius, this is a time now for adventure and exploring and learning and growing and gathering wisdom 
And so this could again be a really beautiful time to explore yourself, explore where do those deep rooted fears come from and how can I begin to overcome them? And how can I begin to establish a new set of beliefs where rather than looking at the world as a scary place where things can go wrong, I can start to look at the world as this really beautiful and exciting place that's always helping me to move along my journey and to grow and expand. So this is a beautiful time to, if you set new moon intentions around something new you want in your life, this is where we gather the information. In order to make this new moon intention come true, what do I need to learn? How do I need to grow? Where do I need to seek guidance and wisdom? How can I start to explore and look for the answers? And remember, very often they're found within. So it's within that we need to look rather than always looking outside. But also, do I need to study something or read something or learn something, other things that I can be doing now that are going to help expand my mind, my consciousness into what previously I didn't think was true or possible. How can we now begin to really expand that thinking in our mind so that we're not limiting ourselves to what's possible and instead we're letting some of this deeper wisdom come up and through and moving into a new place of expansion. Now, this expansion is going to continue now. We're really going to be called into a lot of expansion this week because on Thursday, the sun squares Jupiter. This is a day of expansion. And this is a day of really expanding beyond what you've previously thought was possible. So look at where you limit yourself. This is what's possible for me. This isn't what's possible for me. This would never happen for me. This is what I can make happen. Explore that. And then again, is that true? Is it true that only this is available for you? Is that true? Or can you begin to expand and feel an expansion, a call, a pull into something bigger, something greater, something more? This is a wonderful time now to begin to establish new belief system to expand out of your fear so to really perhaps sit with that fear but then begin to feel an expansion around that fear and around that fear and around that fear and begin to almost feel yourself expanding out of this little contracted you and feeling the the soul you the the part of you that's connected to the universe and allow yourself to expand outside of that fear and really establish then those new belief systems. So we're again looking at what could be possible, what could go right, what could happen if I really believed in myself or there were no limitations or I didn't have these restrictions or beliefs, what could be possible? And on this same day to help with that, we've got Mercury sextile Mars. So this brings a... Um, a desire to um, pursue your ambitions and go after what you want and a deeper sense of self and a deeper sense of what you want. And what we also need to remember is that Mars is currently moving through Cancer. And so with Mercury now being in Virgo, that sign of the, the witch, the goddess, the healer that takes us into very deep intuitive knowing and Mars being in Cancer that again takes us into our emotions and our intuitions and that part of us that just knows. This is a day now, a time now, a week now to really be driven by your deep, deep, deep inner knowing, those little intuitive nudges. And rather than question them and need an answer or need a guaranteed outcome or need a certainty before you'll take that little leap, instead just go all in. Just be like, I, I'm feeling this and this feels right. And even if you just take baby steps towards it because you're not ready for the full leap, take those baby steps towards listening to that deep inner knowing. Because then on Friday, we get Friday the 13th. Now I'm so passionate about reclaiming Friday the 13th because this was historically the day of the goddess. It was a day where the divine feminine would be worshipped. Friday is named after the goddess Freya, is also the day Venus. And 13 is a number long associated with the feminine because it's the number of lunar cycles we have in a year, the average number of menstrual cycles we have in a year. And so when Friday the 13th happened, this was a, it was a portal. 
It was a portal to the divine feminine and to the goddess to really begin to bring in her energies and bring that shakti, that creative life force energy alive within us so that we could really begin to weave and create and flow with life. But then when the church took over, the church didn't want people worshipping the power of the feminine because those ancient patriarchal powers really, really feared the true power of the feminine because I honestly believe there is no force on earth as powerful than a woman who really knows her worth and is really tapped into her deep intuitive magic and power and knowing and the same goes for men when a man is also tapped into that feminine power within him and we all know that we have that creative life force energy of the universe flowing through us we move through life differently and so because the powers that be did not want the feminine worshipping they did not want people to know that we can connect to the divine ourselves this day became associated with bad luck and superstition and witches and all these terrible things but friday the 13th is a day to just remember who you are to take back your power and your wisdom and your worth and your knowing and so do one thing on friday the 13th that really helps you to take back that power whether that is following an intuitive nudge or speaking your truth or doing something that helps you to just really remember who you are and to help us with this on sunday we get venus trine jupiter which is a beautiful way to end this week venus trine jupiter is all about um an expansion into the fullness of yourself an expansion into a knowing of who you are and a deep love and respect and care for yourself it's about being grounded in your truth and your values and your wisdom and your worth and your knowing and from that being able to expand and say yes to opportunities and yes to something new and yes to who you are and yes to all that wants to weave and create and come to life through you it's a day for yes it's a day for just making real changes and overcoming challenges and overcoming those small limiting beliefs like the little the little you that's afraid we talked about expanding beyond your fears it's a day for expanding beyond who you've restricted yourself to be based on your old beliefs and just expanding into this soulful soul-led version of you and so it's just such a beautiful week my loves for really establishing new beliefs to support you, expanding beyond doubts and fears and little human you, and really beginning to reclaim your power and your wisdom and your worth and your magic and your knowing and finding that new belief system and inner belief that helps you to truly know who you are and show up in the world differently. So this feels like it's going to be a beautiful energy for the week ahead. I wish you all the most magical week. As always, I'm sending you so much love. It's my honour to walk this journey with you. Um, and I just cannot wait to see you expand into more and more and more of you. So much love. I'll be back soon.